Hello everybody, uh, this is Chalice, round one, round of 64, Chalice number 42, uh, we have, uh, it looks like it is the Dwarven Drive, so uh, we've got Veliopia's Chaos, Iced uh, versus Mr. Light, World Cup, is he a World Cup winner? He might be a World Cup winner, is it, both of these guys are Chalice winners, uh, quite a long time ago but they are both Chalice winners. Uh, we've got an AV up dwarf because uh, I'm not sure why. Uh, we've also got stand firm movement. I like the movement on the uh, troll slayer to be fair. Mighty blow. Uh, we've got a guard block. Uh, Mighty blow. Uh, another two troll slayers. I'm not too sure about two, but each their own. That is a really nice runner. Agi up movement up blodge kick off return. Pretty much the perfect runner, in my opinion, my humble opinion, not a dwarf coach. Uh, guard mighty blow, uh, sorry, guard, block, stand firm, blitzer, and uh, just a guard blitzer. Not the biggest dwarf team, he has got a wizard, he has only got two rerolls, he's got two bench, he, he may well need those. Um, and he's only got one runner, so only the one runner. Uh, Chaos team is... Uh, Three rookie goats, movement up, tackle, uh, movement up, rackle, that's really nice. Um, you've got guard stand firm, just guards, just block. These chaos warriors are uh, probably died at some point. And then you've got strength up, tense, guards, that's pretty nice. Um, hasn't got stand firm, sadly. Uh, this is tackle, mighty blow, no pom. This is POM, this is Claw POM, Tackle POM with Jump Up, that's amazing. And he's got a DP. Has he got a Ball Carrier? Yeah, he's got, he's got Block, Sure Hands, and another Rookie Goat. Um, so, <clears throat> quite a long... I, I think Veli played like 40 games on this Chaos team. I think he played, like, it's, it doesn't look like it. Um, only got one original Chaos Warrior on the team. Is it this one? Is it the Strength one? Or is it the... Uh, is it the guard stand firm one? It's a 50 game team. This does not look like a 50 game chaos team, does it? Definitely doesn't look like a 50 game chaos team. <laughs> Scott. Uh, so kick off return doing a thing. High kick. Oh, touchback. Eh, sucks. I hate touchbacks. Touchbacks tilt me. Touchbacks probably tilt me more than anything at the moment in Blood Bowl. Fan Factor and Touchbacks are the two things that drive me absolutely bonkers. Because they happen all the time. Uh, just to push on the Rookie Goat. Uh, Mr. Light is really going to hope to chip something here. Because uh, it's quite a... S yeah, there we go. There's uh, there's the AV up. The, the biggest kill skill in Blood Bowl. An AV up blocker. Getting the KO. Just another knockdown. There's not a ton. There's not a ton of mighty blow on this dwarf team. There's one, two, three, four. Only four mighty blow. I know the touchback's super irrelevant, but it doesn't stop it tilting me. It doesn't stop it tilting me. It still tilts me. Touchbacks just wind me up. I don't. I don't know what it is. It's a completely irrational uh, fear of touchbacks, I guess. And he's bringing the ball right up. So, claw pom this guy. Yeah, that's it's just the standard chaos strat. Get the guy on the end and blitz him. Doesn't get the knockdown. Doesn't take the GFI. This, yeah, there we go. Just close him off a bit. Someone needs to go in here. Dirty player. Oh, and there's fine. Pushes him back. Oh, stand firm. He doesn't push him back. He just stalemates it. Spreading nice and wide. This is a dodge, right? Yeah, you, you can't stay there. Ooh, there's a stun. Uh, is it worth it? Probably. Probably. Uh, so, who are we hitting? I guess. I don't know. Who are we hitting? We're hitting the dirty player, fair. Doesn't get an armor break. 
<clears throat> goes in for the follow up hit on the stand firm. Does leave this guy pretty exposed. I'm guessing this guard guy is going to come and step in here. But then we look pretty weak through the middle. So, does get a knockdown. Not having block on this guy really sucks. I know, AV10 is man. This this guy doesn't look like he's going to last very long. Um, I'm assuming... I'm assuming this is who he's going to about... He's about, he's about to get claw palmed in the face. Uh, hold on a second. There's, there's no... No, there's no way in. There's no way in. Oh, he's going to go for the long beards. Fair. I guess he can punch this way if he wants. Taboki. Gets a KO. So we're now 10 against 10. And there's no Apo. I doubt that would be an Apo anyway, not with a KO. Gets a knockdown. And a stun, which is actually really nice. Yeah, so it looks like he's going to take the hit here and follow. No, maybe he just stays there, actually. Yeah, because he doesn't want to open this side up. Although it's not, like, massively open. Chucks him in. Only a push. See, he might mighty blow the dirty player. Gets him down. Does mighty do the dirty player. Knocks him down. This is a bit of an awkward position though. Like this line is kind of awkward. It, it feels kind of weak. Here. Okay, that feels better. Hang on. Hang on. Where's this ball going? Um. Okay. Okay. Is that one, two, three, four, five? Just a push there. They're going to follow that, surely. Oh, because oh, this guy went down. Otherwise, he could have just chained him out. Yeah, I'm not... thrilled to bits with this. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm not... I wouldn't be... Like, this feels horrible for Mr. Light, right? This, this is... Caged in. He's going to blitz this blitzer. Yeah, now he's going. Oh, he's got jump up. Of course, yeah. I was thinking he hasn't got jump up. In goes the re-roll. Fair. And that is going to pile on. This is how dwarves like it. <laughs> oh, he gets the pal. Actually, this is now pretty good for him, right? One, two, three, four. Now this is actually good for him. I don't... Yeah. He's opened up this whole side. There's a KO on the Rackle as well, which is probably the biggest threat to the ball sack. I mean, he has got a tackle problem here. Runners off. He hasn't really got... One, two, three, four, yeah, here. Okay, now it's safe. But he, he did rely on that block to make it safe. And then... This is into... One into one. Mine their way through the chaos. I like it literally. Oh, that's huge. And that's a move bust into MNG. So he's not coming back. What was he? He was guard, stand firm. I mean, it was claw mighty blow to be fair. Fails the jump up. Chaining this out. This is pretty nice. Can he hit? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so he takes the GFI rather than the dodge. Doesn't get the power. Pushes him back. I think that might put him out of range. No, he's movement up. That's just, yeah, he's movement up. So he's still he's within a GFI. All 
Alright, okay. We gotta be moving over here, right? We've got to be moving over here. Oh no, this guy is a bit of a problem. Gets knocked down. No, just a push. This doesn't look like it's gonna be the safest. Is he just gonna ignore him? Go there. I mean, he can hit it, but it's not great. It's really early. It is really early. Still four turns. I guess you just want to put as much pressure as you can to force the score now. I don't think you stop the score, but you can definitely force it. And he's got jump up, hasn't he? So you can take the jump up hit here. And then... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, GFI, GFI. Double GFI claw mighty blow hit. No. Uh, yeah. Doesn't get him. Yeah, not worth the reroll there, I don't think. Just base the blitzer. I think this is enough to force the score. I may be wrong. Like that guy there, definitely, yeah, because now he covers this. I think this is. I think this is the score. I think we're just gonna see him take some hits and then run it in. To be fair. Yeah, hit the pommer. Can he? Yeah, that follow is definitely a score then. Because you do not want to be stood there. Yeah, there we go. So one nil. Turn 6 score from Mr. Light. He has got the Wizards. Uh, he's still got two re-rolls. Veli's still got two re-rolls. Uh, KOs. Couple of KOs. Both back. Luck a dog. And yeah. Just the one Kaz. But it is one of the better. Well I say better. It's a strong. Uh, it's a stand firm. Guard. Chorf, uh, dwarf. <coughs> So yeah, pretty early on the score there. I mean, the opportunity did open itself up a little bit. Um, and I guess Dwarves are not the easiest to score with. They're pretty hard to score against. I, the Apo's gone for Mr. Light though, so there's no Apo for uh, Mr. Light. Which is probably his biggest concern right now. And there's, there's going to be a claw hit here. There's going to be a POM somewhere. Not sure about this runner being here. Not sure about this runner being... I, I would POM that runner. <laughs> I would POM that runner in a heartbeat. Like, I really... I know he's only got... Like, oh, it's tough. I guess he's got the wizard, so you want to field it. And then he obviously wants to do this formation, which... Oh, alright, that's that's a Kaz. So, Dwarfs capped at 11. Only 10 for this short drive. It's only a 3 turn for Chaos. He has kind of blocked himself in a little bit. Like, There's no way through. Oh, okay, there he is. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Can't re roll it. Really annoying you don't get the power there, I can imagine. Oh, that, I would have rolled my eyes at that. I would have been like. <laughs> sure hands, great skill. Sure hands is a fantastic skill. So he's got the tags in. This, yeah, he's just got to cover this. Only the one scoring threat so far. Who must be dealt with. It looks more like this is the way he's going to go. Does, like, I, I, like, I don't think 
from this, oh, he hasn't blitzed this guy. From this, I don't know if Chaos is going to score unless this guy. Well, I don't know. He's like this guy can just dodge out on a three plus and get like right down. He can even open this up with the strength here. He can just push that out of the way. Put a guard in here. I oh, know he's still got this hit yet. Oh, he didn't take this hit. Did he not take this hit? Push this out of the way. Put a guy in here. Punch this out of the way. Walk through the middle. <laughs> it's not rocket science, is it? <laughs> it's uh. And he's blitzing this guy. And is he scoring for it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He is. There's one GFI. There's two. And then I guess we're getting a dirty player dodge to there. Or the Palmer can just move there for free. That's another scoring threat. Ooh, re-roll that, yep. Nice. Full cage. Five scoring threats. Fireball. Ah, do I like that fireball? Ah. I don't know. I mean, he's probably stopped the score. He's probably stopped the score. I mean, he hasn't, like... It is a five-man. I think I might have saved it for... Uh, I might have saved it for the next drive. I don't know. What do, what do you guys think? Would you fireball that? Is that like, yeah, fireball, 100%? Or is it maybe? Or is it definitely not? There's a uh, KO. Yeah, see you later, Wayward Gear. I, uh, I don't know if I would... <laughs> I mean, would you fireball there, though? Like, I guess it has stopped the score, right? I mean, it hasn't officially stop the score okay oh okay now it looks like it has stopped the score so there's what what happened there did he run out of time he might have run out of time because he run the guy in but then he didn't do anything else yeah the whiz makes it Oh, what you mean, like, so if Chaos score, it's a draw, and then it goes to overtime, and then he's got the the possibility. I mean, yeah. Oh, you miscalculated. Oh, okay. Yeah, I understand that. I mean, like, if I'm the Dwarf guys, though, like, if I'm Dwarves, I don't really want this game to go to overtime, if I'm honest. I'm just going to turn the light on. I, like... You don't want to get punched with Claw and Mighty Blow that much, do you? So, I guess it's it's not a bad fireball, is it? It's not a bad fireball, I just don't know. And the thing is, is it is five players, so he might have chipped one. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't want overtime as well, so yeah. So, like, <clears throat> if he can, like, pop the fireball, like, here, and get, like... Get the ball. Oh, dead chorf. Uh, dead chorf, dead dwarf. Just about to level. He was just about to level. F. <laughs> yeah. DP catch, that's unlucky. Yeah. That is un. Well, I, I mean, it's not. It's not horrible. It depends how much he's going to foul, doesn't it, I guess? I doubt he's handing off now. Yeah. 
It was Niggled. Oh, right, okay, this one here. He was Niggled, yeah. I still would love a crack at that bloody runner though, Jesus Christ. Like, he's so brave to put his runner there. Like, I don't think he's even got an Apo, has he? He's got no Apo. He's got his best player, like, just stood there. Against Clawpom. <laughs> he's going to foul it. There we go. Two counter assists. There's the send off. Now it's looking super horrible for Dwarves. I don't know about that foul. There's a Dub Skulls. I know like, you want to get rid of that Claw Pommel, right? I guess, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that foul. Because it's like, if he gets rid of the Claw Pommel, it's absolutely amazing. If you get sent off, it's catastrophic, right? And uh, I guess he feels that like he's behind. Now he's used the wizards. He's down. He was only down one dwarf. He did have a bench. Of, did he have a bench of two? Or did he, I think he had a bench of two. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I oh, know. Maybe no. Maybe he only had a bench of one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no, he was only down one. I don't know. Every dead dwarf is a job well done. That's yeah, that's pretty true. That's pretty true. <laughs> you could just leave the claw pom lying on the floor to like get even more removals. I feel like that's like from from a guy who's played with a claw pommer. I think he probably made more removals getting kicked in the head than he did claw pomming people. Because people used to just foul him all the time, outrageous. Like, he used to claw pom one person, lie on the floor for like five turns while just constantly getting fouled by my opponents. And like, <laughs> there you go. And there's another send off. And he's, he's actually made more removals on his ass on the floor than he has claw pomming people. Uh. So if uh, I, I I guess Veli was probably like, what is going on? What's going on? But then I guess once you made the first foul, the second foul actually probably seems more important uh, to get rid of him. But yeah, this is I I just I don't know if he needed the first foul to be honest. Yeah, he's he's got his he's got his uh troll slayer surfed as well. Now we're just we're just bleeding dwarves here, and that's a Kaz, so he's not coming back. This is brutal. This is absolutely brutal. Like now it's at the stage where even if Mr. Light wins the overtime toss, he's massive underdog, right? He's got six, seven dwarves, and none of them are coming back. Like it feels like a little bit. Of a throw. It's so high risk, high reward though. I mean, if he cases the Pommer and doesn't get sent off at all. And now it just feels like he's kind of like given up. Kind of feels like he's just given up. And he's just trying to like hurt things. Yeah, that's yeah, that's it. Like when I when I'll play, I'll play against Necro with like a claw pom werewolf, and every time he hits me with a skillless zombie, it'll be a Kaz. <laughs> yeah, he's a pro. Yeah, yeah. Like the first one is like iffy, and uh, but not. I can understand it, and then after that, it's just not great. It kind of looks like he's beaten, psychologically beaten. And the thing is, right, is the game goes to overtime. If if Veli scores, it goes to overtime. You might win the toss. Like, I'd rather see him take all these dwarves and run away over here, and just go score Veli. Like, go on, 
And then if we win the toss, we've got a drive. Do you know what I mean? Okay, there's the runner going. It's just a badly hurt. He's down to six. Is this six dwarfs left? I think this is this has been like the most one-sided drive I've seen so far. Is he gonna foul this Palmer again? <laughs> He's gonna foul it again, isn't he? He's gonna run this guy one, two, three, four. Oh, he's not fouling. Oh, he's blitzing this guy, right? 1D. Oh, man. That sucks. That's the AV up guy as well, which is... It just adds to the hilariousness. <laughs> oh. Like, poor Mr. Light. Like, poor Mr. Light. It's a rough one. But, I, like, I don't think the game was... Like, I don't think the game was over at all. And the second foul, yeah, after getting sent off the first time. It's hard, it's hard, isn't it? It's so hard to know. Like, it's so hard to know. AV armor te yeah, the AV are not... <laughs> You've not seen a dwarf cas box look like this before. I'm guessing you haven't played a lot of high TV Blood Bowl. I, I, my last game, I played a, I had a... 2000-ish chaos team versus uh, like dwarfs in rebel and it was the opposite like the dwarf team did that to my chaos team and I had loads of claw and palm and everything so hello bringer of doom Bugsy Malone yeah I was listening to Bugsy Malone all last night mate he's just like it's pretty funny <clears throat> you definitely don't want to score on the DP though so be interesting to see if he hands this off only one. Oh uh, no, he's got two rerolls. He took the dice really well. Okay. I mean, he's an experienced coach, isn't he? He's a chalice winner. I'm pretty sure he played in the World Cup. I don't know whether or not he won it, but I'm pretty sure he did. I know he's been around for ages, hasn't he? He qualifies every season. Like normally, within a week of chalice starting, you look at the ladder and he's there at 15 to 2 Kemri. He's done that a couple of seasons in a row. Yeah, I don't blame you. I, I take it you're not handing off? I don't know. I mean, I think Rick 100% hands this off. <laughs> I think Rick 100% hands this off. I, I wouldn't. I'd be too terrified. It probably is right to hand it off, I guess. He's not going to level. He can level, but I mean, what's that? It's like block or guards. A few non-meta upgrades in the team though. AV lad, movement slayer. Oh man. That's a niggle. He's not going to have a team left for this uh, overtime. He's got, <laughs> he's got four dwarves. Whee! He's got one. He's got one. And there's a knockdown. He's removed the claw pommer, boys. It's game on. <laughs> it's game on. Oh. Absolute murdering. So many chalice teams just die round one. Is that normal? Uh, yeah. It's high TV blood bowl. Like. There's so much more kill skills. Like, the Chorf game we just saw versus Nurgle, like, someone's gonna die. Like, it, it's just a matter of time. Oh, and that's a Kaz as well. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. So he's actually overflowing Kazes into the KO box now. <laughs> oh my god. That's horrendous. <clears throat> and it really doesn't even matter who wins the toss now. It literally does not matter who wins the toss now. It's just GG. If he gets the KO back. He doesn't get the KO back. 
Oh, he doesn't get the Pommer back. And it is. is The Dwarves have won the toss. And he has opted to receive. Yeah, I know. This isn't nowhere near, like... This isn't even anywhere near a Killer Chaos team. Like... Like you say, you played it 50 games. Oh no, this is turn 16. Yeah, sorry, beg your pardon. It's turn 16. Claw might be blowing piling on and all the elves have like a G5, a G6. Yeah, it's... <clears throat> Just two claw. I mean, like, you look at Toto. You look at Toto's game and he had that claw pom in tackle guy. <laughs> and you compare that to like the Dark Elf Spence yesterday, which was, which was like... <laughs> It was hilarious. <clears throat> Not all man's LOS, boo. The the good news is uh, he does get he does get one more KO roll. So if he succeeds the KO roll, wins the overtime toss, he can actually have a dwarf off the LOS to try and receive the ball. But uh, it all depends on this KO roll. And he has got he has got Agi free. Yeah, it's got an edgy free. Yeah, 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 poor Toto. Is he gonna throw a vanity pass? What was he doing? Was he actually gonna throw a vanity pass? <laughs> Get the SPP for the next round, right? And who wins it? The Dwarves win the toss. The dwarves win the toss. No, no, I'm doing that next, I think. I think that's literally next. I've got... Andre versus Danton. Alright, so we've done Squatty Potty. Done that. And then... I think, I think, apart from Kimroth versus Max, I think that's it. I think that's all of them. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six that haven't been played. I think. Like, I don't think Justice Eam and Talk 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 have played. Andy and Trox haven't played. Ricks and Quafwa haven't played. Simple, simply simple, Javin haven't played. Do you think the doors can win? Yeah, I, I think. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> if there was a pitch invasion that like knocked over all these guys, I still think they couldn't win. <laughs> I still think they would lose. Yeah. I mean, hats off to him for actually. I probably just would have kicked it. I probably just would have kicked it to chaos and just stood there. I, I guess I don't know. I don't know. Just typing pitch invasion, yeah. Like a pitch invasion that knocks over like all of these and I still don't think he'd win. <laughs> I still don't think he'd win. Did you cover the art of blodge versus... No, I haven't. Uh, hang on, the art of blodge. That is... Who did they play against? Who's the coach? Is it is it get is it Gabilis? I've got the art of dodge, but I can't find the replay. I had a look for their replay and I couldn't find it. I've got the art of dodge. Oh, that I just heard that. I didn't even see that. There we go. <laughs> it just catches it. Yeah, Gabilias uh, or Gabilas. Uh, I haven't seen the game in. Uh, in the client, I can't find it. <clears throat> no, Good Times team is called something else. Wasn't even a claw player. Yeah. Time for some vanity passes. I mean, who do you want to score on? I mean, this is where, like, he just red dices and Kaz is a Chaos Warrior, right? Like, absolutely zero damage coming out of this game for Veli as well.
Good Time versus Toto. Oh, you watched it on YouTube. Yeah, it was a decent game, mate. It was a, that was a good game, yeah. <clears throat> I don't think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, Ged Blood is uh, necromantic. I don't think they've played yet. I don't think they've played. I couldn't find the replay unless they played like as soon as the tickets came out and the uh, the replay isn't there anymore. I'll be gutted if it is. Like if they have played it and the replay's not there because it means I won't have been able to do every single game. But I can't see it in the thing. And on Spike it shows that it's not been played. So if anyone knows if it has been played. Yeah, this is this is just over. This is brutal. He has some spirit, yeah. <clears throat> I think I'll be drinking a couple of litres of spirits <laughs> after this. This is horrific. Uh, Veliopia not not being he's just not putting him out of his misery. He's like <laughs> he's, just literally dragging it out. Oh, for the 6th of October. Uh, well, it will still be in the client then. Because it was only a few days ago. Oh my god. Oh, so he's trying to get the pass on this guy. Uh, legal concede. No, I don't think it is in Chalice. I mean, I think it is. But I guess it is a legal concede, yeah. I don't know if it, I don't know if you can actually. Yeah, I don't know because because it messes up because it gives you two MVPs. Oh my God! Pole, pole, famously. Oh my God! <laughs> what is going on? Uh, yeah, pole famously got banned for three seasons for uh, conceding in a Chalice final. Oh my god, Veli, you're killing me. You are literally killing me. You mad lad. Oh, <laughs> oh, you stopped. You stopped to say GG then, didn't you? That was the GG stop. And then you started moving again. Take it on penalties. It could. Oh, mate. It, it wouldn't have been undeserved, I'm telling you. <laughs> and he gets MVP. Oh, no, that's not the same one, is it? That's not the same one. So, yeah, GG, stop. Yeah, so congratulations, Veliopia. Commiserations, Mr. Light. Like, what a way to go out. Just didn't even get to play Blood Bowl. Absolutely smashed the bits. Um, like, the first half was decent. First half was interesting. Uh, second half, just, like, literally within the space of a turn. It just looked like it was over. And, uh, yeah. All done. Well done, Veli. Proceeding through to the next rounds.